Before we dive into the announcement, it's important to understand what particle accelerators are. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN, is a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets and the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It represents the pinnacle of human scientific achievement. In fact, it's so powerful that it can recreate the very conditions of the universe's birth. But could this machine, designed to unlock the secrets of the universe, hold the key to something far more ominous? CERN, founded in 1954, is one of the world's most prestigious research organizations. With 23 member states and thousands of scientists, it serves as a hub for collaboration and innovation. The LHC is CERN's flagship project, but it's just one part of a vast network of accelerators and experiments. Imagine a racetrack, not for cars or horses, but for subatomic particles in a race against time and space itself. The LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that mimics the energy of the universe at the time of the Big Bang. These collisions create temperatures a million times hotter than the core of the sun. Thousands of magnets guide the protons on their journey, while intricate cooling systems keep the magnets at temperatures colder than outer space. The beams inside the LHC collide at four locations around the accelerator ring, corresponding to the positions of four particle detectors, Atlas CMS, Alice, and LHCB. Each serves a unique purpose, exploring different aspects of particle physics. Together, they act as colossal cameras, capturing snapshots of these collisions. Scientists then sift through the debris, looking for signs of the elusive Higgs boson, also known as the God particle and other phenomena that offer clues to the universe's fundamental building blocks. By studying the microcosm, we gain insights into the macrocosm. But with every answer comes a new question, and with every discovery, a new challenge. The LHC is not just a scientific instrument. It's a testament to human curiosity and innovation. It embodies our relentless pursuit of knowledge and our desire to understand the fundamental forces that shape our universe. Yet, as we push the boundaries of what we know, we must also consider the ethical and existential questions that arise. What are the risks of probing the unknown? Could our quest for understanding inadvertently unlock forces we cannot control? In the hallowed halls of CERN where the boundaries of human understanding are constantly pushed, a revelation has emerged that sends a shiver down the spine of even the most seasoned scientists. Brian Cox, a former researcher at CERN and a voice of authority in the world of particle physics, has recently made an announcement that has left the world both fascinated and fearful. Cox's words resonate with haunting clarity. The goal of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to recreate a mini Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right a miniature version of the very event that gave birth to our universe. The physicist also went on to explain the implications of this goal, highlighting the LHC's extraordinary potential for making new discoveries. This includes its ability to unlock the secrets of the Higgs boson and explore dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up a significant portion of the universe. Imagine holding the power of creation in your hands, the ability to conjure the very essence of the universe. It's a tantalizing prospect, but one fraught with danger. The mini Big Bang is not just a theoretical concept. It's a tangible reality within the LHC. The temperatures, the pressures, the raw energy all mimic the conditions of the universe's infancy. It's like standing at the dawn of time, witnessing the birth of existence itself. But with such power comes responsibility and the question looms, what if something goes wrong? In fact, something did go terribly wrong back in 1978. The Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky experienced a disaster that would forever alter the course of his life. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Russia, a malfunction led to his head accidentally coming into the direct path of a proton beam. The beam, with a force that defies comprehension, passed through his skull, entering the back of his head and exiting through his nose. Bugorsky's experience was otherworldly. He saw a flash brighter than a thousand suns but felt no pain. The beam's path left a trail of destruction, burning through tissue and bone. 
yet he remained conscious and even walked to the clinic for treatment. The aftermath was both horrifying and fascinating. The beam's path caused localized tissue death, leading to the loss of hearing in one ear and partial facial paralysis. Yet, astonishingly, Bugorsky's intellectual capabilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This incident is not just a personal tragedy, but a cautionary tale that underscores the immense power and potential danger of particle accelerators. The risks of a particle accelerator like the LHC are not to be taken lightly. The potential for unforeseen reactions, the very fabric of space and time being manipulated, these are not the stuff of science fiction, but real concerns voiced by some in the scientific community. One of the most alarming concerns associated with the LHC's experiments is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They are cosmic vacuum cleaners, devourers of stars, and enigmatic entities that lurk in the shadows of our universe. The idea that the LHC could create such an entity, even on a microscopic scale, is shocking to both the general public and experts alike. Could this black hole grow uncontrollably, swallowing the Earth from within? Those scientists at CERN have assured that any black hole created would be unstable and evaporate almost instantly the mere possibility has ignited debates, fears, and a sense of awe at the power we wield. It's important to understand how the LHC could theoretically create a black hole. This possibility stems from the fundamental mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is so immense that it warps the fabric of space-time itself. Imagine a tightly stretched trampoline. If a heavy object is dropped onto it, the fabric bends and curves. If the weight is heavy enough, it could create a depression so deep that anything nearby would be drawn into it. This is a metaphorical way to describe what might occur in the LHC. In the realm of quantum physics, where the rules of the universe are both bizarre and beautiful, there exists a theory that extra dimensions may be hidden within our reality. If these dimensions exist, the LHC's collisions could tap into them, creating a gravitational funnel that forms a microscopic black hole. While this concept may sound like the stuff of science fiction, it is rooted in serious theoretical physics. This enigmatic dance of particles has even caught the attention of some of the world's most renowned scientists, including the late Stephen Hawking. In his work, Hawking warned of a scenario where the Higgs boson could become unstable at very high energy levels. This instability, he suggested, could lead to a catastrophic event known as vacuum decay, a cosmic phenomenon that would not only destroy the Earth, but also the entire universe. British astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees also expressed his concerns about the experiments conducted at CERN. In his book on the future, Prospects for Humanity Rees explored the potential risks associated with high-energy physics experiments, including those at the LHC. He described a worst-case scenario in which an ill-fated experiment could create a condition called vacuum instability. This instability, he theorized, could trigger a phase transition that would ripple through space-time, resulting in a catastrophic collapse of the universe. Rees did assign a low probability to such outcomes, but he argued that even a minuscule chance of cosmic disaster should give humanity pause. The stakes are unimaginably high and the margin for error is razor thin. While scientists at CERN have conducted rigorous safety reviews and insist the experiments are safe, the sheer scale of the potential consequences keeps the debate alive. Brian Cox himself has acknowledged the importance of responsible exploration. He has emphasized the meticulous safety protocols in place at CERN, including extensive simulations and theoretical reviews. Cox has reassured the public that the energies involved in the LHC's collisions are well within what the Earth naturally encounters in cosmic ray interactions. He further explains that if a microscopic black hole were created, it would be so unstable that it would evaporate almost instantly in a flash of energy, a phenomenon known as Hawking radiation. Despite these assurances, some have gone further speculating that the LHC's experiments could open a portal to another universe or dimension. This notion, while largely dismissed by the scientific community, has captured the imagination of many. It has become a subject of fascination, fear, and even folklore. 
could we inadvertently unlock forces or entities beyond our understanding? The idea of opening a portal to hell has been sensationalized in media and conspiracy theories, adding fuel to the fire of uncertainty. The concept of parallel dimensions is not new in physics. String theory, a leading candidate for a unified theory of everything, suggests there may be more than the familiar three dimensions of space and one of time. These extra dimensions could be compactified, hidden from our perception, but they could theoretically be accessed or revealed under extreme conditions. Imagine the LHC as a cosmic key unlocking doors that have been sealed since the dawn of time. When protons collide at energies never before achieved on Earth, they could, in theory, create ripples in space-time potentially exposing these hidden dimensions. While most physicists view such claims as far-fetched the LHC's unparalleled ability to probe the fundamental nature of reality has undoubtedly stirred public interest in both its promise and its potential risks. The machine stands as a testament to human curiosity, innovation, and ambition, but it also serves as a stark reminder of the ethical and existential dilemmas that accompany scientific progress. The Large Hadron Collider, at its core, is a marvel of human ingenuity. It is the culmination of decades of research collaboration and technological advancement. Stretching 17 miles beneath the border of France and Switzerland, this engineering masterpiece has already delivered groundbreaking discoveries, such as the confirmation of the Higgs boson in 2012. Yet as it continues to push the boundaries of knowledge, it raises profound questions about the limits of human understanding. What lies ahead for the LHC and humanity's quest to unravel the secrets of the cosmos? Will the discoveries made at CERN lead to a new era of understanding, or will they uncover forces that we are not yet equipped to handle? The pursuit of knowledge is one of humanity's greatest achievements, but it is also a journey fraught with uncertainty and peril. As we stand at the frontier of scientific exploration, we are reminded of the dual nature of discovery the potential for progress, and the risk of unintended consequences. The universe is vast and mysterious, and the more we uncover, the more we realize how much remains unknown. The Large Hadron Collider may hold the key to unlocking the mysteries of existence, but only time will tell if we are ready to face the truths it reveals.